Hi guys, Dr. Dobson, gonna be doing a 4-1 endo in this video. We're gonna get started by anesthetizing with 1 in 200 articane infiltration, and then we'll begin accessing the pulp chamber with a small round diamond from the lingual side, and you see a little bit of mobility from the apical bone loss. We'll use an explorer until we get a stick, and then once we get a stick, we'll open up the pulp chamber with a month's discovery burr, and then we'll take a 10 file just make sure that we can get a 10 file in and take it down to length until we are slightly out the apex. And then we'll put a rubber dam on, isolate the tooth, take it a little bit farther back so that we can get our instruments in easier, use a little bit of liquid dam for the voids, and then start opening up the coronal third of the root canal with a SX shaping file. You're getting with uh, full strength hypochlorite and then taking files down to length with the glide path, usually take this to the red line. And I clip the apex locator right to the uh, file, which works well enough for me. I usually don't take a, uh, a trial file x-ray. We'll take our S1 to length, irrigate using uh, RC prep. I think this is going to be the 2506. So this is the second to last file that we'll take to length. And then for necrotic cases, super important to sterilize the apex. So we'll irrigate and then start using our endo activator, which is just a sonic activator that kind of I had explained to me is like the wash cycle and then irrigating to rinse. And then we'll take our 3504 to length and that'll be our last file before we dry and obturate. So we'll irrigate and activate one last time and then take a master cone fit x-ray to verify length of the cone, irrigate, activate, and then we'll start drying the canal with F1 paper points. First paper point comes out wet. Second paper point comes out mostly dry, so that'll be good. We'll take our bioceramic sealer tip to as far down as we can get it, start filling up the canal and pulp chamber, and then slowly retract the tip so we don't make any air bubbles. And then seating our cone to length, kind of tamping it up and down a little bit so that we get a good puff out the apex. Snip the excess GP, sear it to the cable surface margin, and then take it down a couple millimeters with the round burr before we restore the access, and then that'll be it. Restoring with uh, Equia Forte, etch for five seconds, rinse dry, and then fill up the access cavity with the material, overfill, pack it a little bit with the cotton pellet, and then wait five minutes, come back, remove the excess, varnish it with uh, Equia Coat, and obviously he's due for a cleaning and some other work, but this was painful and you didn't want to take it out and endo was the best option. So that's that.